The government's plans to house asylum seekers at the former RAF base at Scampton have led to local protests, arguments in the House of Commons and even legal action, of course, to try and stop them going ahead. But now the man whose job was to enforce the government's immigration laws has entered the debate. Kevin Saunders is a former chief immigration officer in the UK and has strong views on the issue. I'll be talking to him in just a moment. First, a reminder of how Scampton came to be such an important part of the government's plans. There are plans to transform RAF Scampton into a tourist destination. The future had been unknown since it closed last year. Scampton is an incredibly historic airfield, one of the most historic airfields in the country. The government hasn't denied that it's close to agreeing a deal to use RAF Scampton near Lincoln to hold migrants who've arrived in the country illegally. The Immigration Minister is working intensively to secure uh, bespoke uh, and appropriate and importantly sustainable asylum accommodation. They are looking at it and I obviously I object very strongly. It's been a turbulent week at RAF Scampton. Monday saw the announcement of a £300 million regeneration plan for the disused airbase. Then, within 24 hours, rumours emerged that Scampton was one of the sites being considered to house asylum seekers. Our history is getting thrown away for people who are illegal immigrants. Yes. This is not about the immigration centre, exactly. it's about the effect that it will have on the development of Scampton. It's falling down and if that it's investment doesn't come well. in, it's going to be lost. But they're going to stump on their memories and it's disgraceful. It's a security issue all around. The police will have additional work to do as a result of this, no question. The government will use military sites in Essex and Lincolnshire and will collectively provide accommodation to several thousand asylum seekers. At the moment this is confirmed, the local authority of West Lindsay will issue an immediate judicial review and injunction. It's no longer a local issue, it's a national issue. Well, we've had a decision, Dominic, and uh, that particular council has lost, the government has won. A lot of people are going to be upset. Like, what does this mean now? Changes are starting to happen at RAF Scampton as the Home Office begins work to establish a migrant centre. Set set I've been working intensively to identify and procure alternative sites. RAF Scampton is one such site. We will be progressing with that. I think the fight continues, everything to play for. Well, joining me now in the studio is uh, Kevin Saunders, who's a former chief immigration officer for the UK, who now lives in Lincolnshire. He got in touch with us to say that uh, Scampton is the right place for asylum seekers. Mr Saunders, good evening to you. Good evening. It's very good to see you. Why do you think Scampton is absolutely the right place to house asylum seekers? Well, the RAF have only just left Scampton, so a lot of the infrastructure is still there and won't take very much to convert. So that's a good move. Also... Um, it makes sense to house up to 2,000 people in one place. Uh, I know that the people of, of Scampton won't like it, and to be honest, I wouldn't like it if I was there. So it's OK for you to say it, but, I mean, they'll be watching the TV tonight. I can almost hear the ch shouting from here. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure you can. But it's necessary to put them into... But it's better to put them into one place. But West Lindsay District Council have said that Scampton is totally unsuitable. West Lindsay District Council would. Uh, and this, all, all that they're doing is repeating what every council across the UK has said when they're told that they're going to have asylum seekers in their town. You think they're wasting taxpayers' money and time? I do, I do. It's a waste of time to take the government to court because they're not going to win. And therefore, that is a waste of the local taxpayers' money. So many people, I can tell you from emails I've had for, for weeks now, are furious about this. They're very unhappy. A piece of history being used in this way. As I say, they won't be happy watching you tonight. What, what do you say to them? Well, I'm glad you raised that, because the Home Office have actually said 
that they won't be touching any of the buildings or anything relating to the history of the webs of um, RAF Scampton. All that will be left exactly That's as it is. maybe, but you're still going to have 2,000 people in, in, in one area and they, they haven't got to stay inside? No, they haven't got to stay inside. So what do you say to people watching who are not happy about this? And there's, there's so many of them. A lot of people will be unhappy, but from a Home Office point of view, it makes sense to centralise these people. Do you agree with the Immigration Minister who said accommodation should meet essential living needs and no more? We cannot risk becoming a magnet for millions. Well, that, that, yes, that, that, that is true. That's completely correct. So better there than in, in hotels and also making a big saving? It is making a big saving. It is better in hotels. We've seen in, in Skegness, for example, where you've had people in, in four or five hotels it's not good for Skegness. If people, those people who are making the journey, if they know they're going to end up in a place like Scampton rather than a hotel on Skegness seafront, is it likely to put them off? No, I don't, I don't, think, it, I don't think it will. The only thing that will put people off coming to the United Kingdom is if they're told that they may go to uh, a third country. As a former Chief Immigration Officer for this country, is the PM's ambition to stop the boats is it is it realistic it is realistic uh we we could stop the boats if we can get the french to cooperate more the bit the key to this the key to stopping the boats is getting france and europe to work with us rather than just let it go on as it is mr saunders uh, some people will be shouting at you tonight i'm sure they will i'm sure they will very good to see you thank you very much steve for uh, coming in well, what do you think of what uh, kevin saunders had to say he's uh, come to his conclusions after spending many years of course dealing with the uh, immigration issues at close quarters is he right here's how to uh, get in touch uh, we followed this scampton story right from the start i've never seen as much response on the story uh, Almost overwhelmingly, people are unhappy. And it's not just people who live in Scampton either. It's uh, people uh, right across the area saying it's the wrong place because it is a piece of history. Not too late to get in touch. We'll have some uh, on the programme tonight and tomorrow. The email address is there. Look north at bbc.co.uk. Text number 81333. 81333. Start the text with the word look north or follow me on Twitter and uh, tweet me now. I look forward to hearing from you. And there's been a formal objection to plans to move the grave of Guy Gibson's dog from Scampton. It's come from Lincolnshire County Council's archaeology department. Last week, the REF submitted an application seeking permission to move the Black Labrador's grave to the current location of the 617 Squadron, which is in Norfolk.